Uh, hey guys, this is my uh, second video about some camp tips and tricks that I uh, uh, use myself for some of my camp builds and maybe some stuff I've uh, either found out uh, on my own or I've, I've come across it maybe in Reddit or YouTube. Um, something I want to talk about today is floating objects and I'm going to start with uh, horizontally snapping lights. So here I'm uh, going to stack, stack up some light boxes uh, then I'm going to snap a few on horizontally. Uh, now, unlike a usual structure, once you uh, go horizontal and remove these pieces, there, there's no longer any kind of support, so they'll completely uh, free float in the air. Um, though you can, uh, as you see, I can I can stand on them. They're they're real. They exist, uh, and you can also put you know a few things on top of them. Usually, you could fit like a rug or something. Um, obviously, once you get a, a rug, something with more surface area on the top, it's gonna try to get it on there. Um, then it opens up some other options. You can stick a bunch of other random stuff on there. Maybe a stash box. Yeah. Uh, and then you'll see uh, there's actually only one of these lights that's the supporting structure. It's going to be that one. And I can remove... whoops. Uh, while one of them is going to be the supporting structure, I think the stash box was stuck to one of the other lights. Uh, but as you can see, I can put something else on there and it's it's totally fine. So. Uh, so there's some pretty cool stuff you can uh, do with that. You might have a need to float uh, objects, uh, not just the lights themselves. Um, and I'll show some examples here uh, shortly. Uh, but this this does apply, though maybe less usefully, to any of the uh, any of the snapping uh, objects. So like we also have the snapping neon lights. So if you snap a few of these together. Almost. Oh, had it. Oh, there we go. Uh, maybe one more. Yeah. So when I uh, remove that wall, uh, some of them are attached to the wall. Uh, some of them are attached to each other. Uh, but they they'll float just the same way that the light boxes do. Um, this isn't as useful just because they don't have as much uh, surface area to kind of put stuff on. Like you could put some connectors or something on them, but you can do that more easily uh, with one of these lights, uh, most certainly. Um, so I, th I think these are more useful. They're also just easier to stack and get up there, but this is a good example of, of how you can use them to kind of float a few things. Uh, so to give a couple examples, I don't know the kind of stuff you want to do, but uh, maybe you want to put up some, some turrets. So I've uh, put a couple mats and some light boxes there. Um, if you want to have turrets that maybe uh, enemies can't get uh, in melee range, something like that. Uh, or you could do, like, this is my version of uh, Tetris. Um, I didn't spend all the time coloring the lights because it just uh, was going to take too long, but this is a general idea of uh, maybe if you wanted to use some of the other glitches, glitch it into a wall, uh, you could have a little Tetris backdrop, and that's that's something you could do. Uh, and you see a piece coming down there to, uh, to form a line. Uh, moving on to some of the uh, other ways you can float things, so the same principle applies, it's not just lights, but it, pretty much anything that's going to snap horizontally, anything that snaps on the, the horizontal uh, is going to float, so it works with the connectors as well. If I remove this piece, uh, the whole thing, you know, that's just going to float in the air. Um, maybe I'll stick some stuff on the end. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Maybe I'll f put one of the flat ones on there. There you go. Uh, and you see these are all floating. I can take the middle one out. These ones are going to keep floating. Uh, could be different reasons you'll do this. Uh, I, I think probably the most common reason you do this is just to float something, put it in the air. Uh, but you can also like hang things off it, like lights. Um, you can do this with the pipes as well. You can hang some lights off them. Uh, and let's see if I can maybe just put something on top. Uh, maybe a stash box or something like that. Almost, almost. There we go. So, you know, just an example. You could you could put something on top of that. So that's a useful way to use that. Um, I, I'm not much of a designer, uh, so I kind of leave it up to people, and they'll figure something more interesting they can do with that. But uh, that's that's kind of just the lowest hanging fruit. Uh, so another example, and this isn't something I uh, discovered on my own, but I had seen it a couple times in maybe YouTube and Reddit. I was actually using the camp object to stack things. Uh, so if you put the camp object there and put a few things on top of it, put some stash boxes here. Uh, when you move the camp object, those those objects will keep floating. Um, 
And this is a really handy trick if you don't want to leave something under it. Uh, so obviously with the lights and the, and the connectors, um, th those have to stay there, otherwise they disappear. Uh, you can also keep stacking it. So as you see, I've put this on top of the stash box, and now I'm putting some pumpkins. That doesn't want to go. Well, if I remove these, uh, let me remove this first. Uh, I can remove these, and those pumpkins are going to stay up there. Um, you know, once they're floating, there's some fun stuff you could maybe do with it. Uh, let's see. Uh, if you want to put a little fan on there. Am I out of fans? Let me just grab one. Grab, grab one from this uh, art piece I have there. Uh, put that on there. So it looks like a little flying, uh, I don't know, something you see in a video game, maybe like a flying pumpkin head. Uh, it's kind of cool. Uh, it could be different reasons you do that, just as a decoration. Um, you can also put stuff... Uh, on top of it as well, but uh, why don't I show you, so similarly to the camp object, uh, you can also use the power armor. So if you put your power armor out, um, there's some there's enough surface area there that you can actually place something on the top of it. Um, I'll do the same thing. What am I going to put on there? Yeah, another pumpkin. Uh, so it's the exact same thing. You can put, put pumpkins on there. Uh, and because it technically kind of exists as a static uh, object, but you also can remove it. Um, it's just a really easy way to float things. You can also put stuff on top too. I'll put that up there. And if I get out, and you can just store your armor, uh, the whole thing's going to keep floating. So there's a lot of useful things you can, uh, you know, do do with that. Uh, but like I said, I'm not much of a designer, so I'll kind of just leave that uh, to you guys, and, and hopefully this helps someone uh, maybe do something uh, a little extra cool in their camp.